Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I do apologise for being away for so long. I have bronchitis at the moment and chest problems. So that's not fun. So if you hear me coughing <coughs> or anything like that, then I do apologise. I just wanted to get this video out for you guys, but I am trying to make myself feel better before I end up going for long on YouTube. So today, I also do have a fan behind me, so I do apologise for that and extra noise. So, as I said, Today, <laughs> we're going to do a pick a card again. We are going to be doing a September predictions. We've got group one, group two, and group three. All of these are aura quartz, if you're interested. This is a titanium covered aura quartz. This is a angel aura quartz, and this is another titanium covered aura quartz. So, let's get started. So we have group one, two, and three, and please choose which group you would like. So let's get started with group number one. Hello, group number one. Thank you so much for clicking on this video let's see what you have for september i just want to show you this gorgeous crystal it is my favorite it is my barbie crystal i tell people and tell myself because it's just so freaking gorgeous i mean look at that starting it is so perfect i love it right let's get started with your september predictions so we have the overall energy for you is dance perfect allow uh, oh okay allow doesn't say allow but there we go um, move your body to music, dance with the rhythm of life, manifest your dreams through dance. So this is the overall energy for September for you. Hopefully you can see that. Right, let's get started. So we have the tarot, we have the emperor. We then have expect powerful change. A new start is coming. Don't let your pride get in the way. Hold your vision kick up your heels, <clears throat> Kunzite, children, third eye and heart chakra, turquoise, the spiritual path, your true beliefs are becoming clearer to you, which prompts you to make necessary life changes, balancing masculine and feminine energies, allow your feminine side to creatively inspire you and your masculine side to give you confidence, why is this card feel really thick, oh there's two cards, okay, <laughs> we then have Unikite, answered prayers <clears throat> all your great work has opened the door for divine solutions and support <clears throat> sorry guys we then have stress reduction de-stress your mind body and schedule as you need to rest recharge and revive we then have prosperity there's a positive shift in your flow of divine support wow what a gorgeous gorgeous group you guys oh my god so we have obviously some really powerful change in September which is absolutely perfect and I feel like you're gonna be really freaking happy about it um I feel like the fact that we've got balancing masculine and feminine energies is I feel like this is the feminine here and this is the masculine I feel like you need to enjoy your the fruits of your labor so the more harder you work I feel like the more play you can do or obviously that's kind of a given but I feel like there may be a little bit of an imbalance between how much you've done of work and how much you've done of play. Um, so it could be overworking or possibly not working to your full potential. Um, but I say this as if you are working too much or you're doing too much strain in your body, there's too much stress, too much strain, you're possibly feeling ill or like in mentally you feel like bogged down and stressed out. It's really, really important for you to recharge. We've got the watermelon tourmaline, which is a stunning crystal, I have to tell you. That is a, a stunning crystal. So I feel like you need to de-stress your body, mind, and have a schedule for actually putting in rest recharging into your schedule to make sure that you're really slotting it in and having the time. This can be literally watching a TV show, um, can be meditating, yoga, dancing, um, can be... I don't know whatever makes you feel good I'm getting I'm getting uh solving a mathematical problem so I don't know if some of you really like doing maths um but that was like kind of coming through quite strongly I feel like that's to do with organization I feel like organizing your life would help you distress if your say if your house needs a bit of a clean or a hoover room your room needs a bit of a, a clean and organization I feel like there's a, a a need to purge I feel like so <clears throat> With don't let your pride getting in the way, I feel like you are feeling a little bit stuck and possibly feeling a little bit stubborn in terms of the universe not bringing anything. If I looked at this, in the corner of my eye, I'm kind of seeing the emperor with his arms crossed. And obviously he hasn't got his arms crossed. So I feel like when people see you, they think you're really strong, you're really powerful, and obviously you are. 
but behind all that you have your arms crossed you're pissed off with the universe you're like why hasn't anything come in and the reason why is because it hasn't come in yet it is on its freaking way and i feel like for some of you you want you want children or you're thinking about children that could be a new start for you guys um it could also be you becoming more childlike and immersing in that childlike energy we have prosperity expect powerful change a new start is coming like this is absolutely gorgeous and i feel like for some of you it could be ascension you could be ascending on a really 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 deep level i feel like for some of you you've got some really happy times coming for you because it's been so stressful i feel like your um lack of uh, you're going to have less control which is going to make you be more relaxed because i feel like a lot of you who've chosen this group have a tendency to control and just put things in a nice little box. I don't know why I'm putting like a circle with my hands. That's really strange. I'm seeing you putting like your hands around your head and being like, oh, so annoying. But I feel like keep holding on, okay? We've got the song Keep Holding On in my head. Got it from Glee. I can't, I, don't, I can't remember what the original is, but I've got the Glee version in my head. Um, if you guys know what Glee is. Um, well, obviously some of you will. But yes, yeah, so we have hold your vision and stress reduction. So it's almost like just keep going. And that in between times when th nothing is happening, it's really important for you to de-stress. I'm getting extremely hot and it's extremely hot in England right now. And I'm also ill, so I don't know which is which. I don't know if it's you guys, I don't know if it's me, I can't tell. I feel like for some of you possibly it could be resonating right now, hence why I'm getting really hot. Okay, so hopefully it is resonating. But the fact we've got pros prosperity is extremely, it's just extremely important. And I pulled Unikite or Unikite for me the other day. And it's just an extremely healing crystal. It's really healing for a lot of, um, for, for sorry, for somebody who has um, emotional issues and they are moving into physical issues. So say if you are stressed out because somebody really pissed you off and they constantly keep pissing you off. And then say it goes to like your head and you keep getting headaches. That will be the transition between an emotional, spiritual pain annoyance to actually turning into the physical that's when it needs to be resolved so possibly unikite is going to be really good for you guys ametrine malachite watermelon terminate or turquoise if any of these kind of resonate really hard with you then really look uh, possibly look into one of those as a recommendation and possibly kunzite so whatever kind of draws your attention that's probably the one that you really need to look into so i love the fact we got a new start is coming and expect powerful change that that's really drawing me in and the fact we have kick up your heels and dance like look how freaking similar these two are they literally the same card <laughs> very very similar we've got blue we've got, we've got a unicorn it's like very um happy kick up your heels is my fun card it's like spice spice up your life and we've got that spice girl song in my head i've got so many songs in my head today um and i've also got the song from moana how far i'll go it's basically like just going ahead doing the damn thing and getting far so hopefully you guys are resonating with that but i feel like definitely a lot of you are on your spiritual path and i feel like a lot obviously we're all on our spiritual path but i feel like things are becoming much clearer and if they aren't they will be very soon especially in september it's also saying here that it says your true beliefs are becoming clearer to you which prompts you to make necessary life change and i definitely feel like it's reducing your stress because i feel like because possibly the spiritual path you're on right now is stressing you out it's really really important for you to just insert some little nuggets of of de-stressing okay and turquoise is, is a very like calm crystal it's very very beautiful very good for your throat chakra as well so thank you so much for watching guys if you would like to give this video a big old thumbs up and comment down below if it resonated if it didn't resonate then just let it fly please subscribe to my channel the red button is down below thank you so much for being patient with me as i am recovering um and if you'd like to get a private reading with me i am doing private readings while i'm ill so you can still, you can still give me private readings but hopefully by the time i get this video out i won't be ill anymore we'll see hopefully so thank you so much for watching and i'll speak to you very soon bye hello group number two thank you so much for being here so today we have the gorgeous aura quartz this is the angel uh angel aura quartz so stunning love it it's got it's like little rainbow hues in it it's absolutely gorgeous so let's see what's going on for you in september we have this is the overall energy for september we have receive gorgeous look at that be open to receiving goodness believe you are worthy of abundance a gift is coming for you soon this is stunning i love this freaking artwork i'm just so obsessed with it so gorgeous if you're wondering what card deck this is by the way 
this is the oracle of the unicorns card deck I'm letting you guys know so from the tarot we have the moon we have the six of uh sorry eight of wands and we have the page of pentacles in reverse we then have you're very close to achieving your goal follow your dreams laughter pranite Rhodochrosite and Topaz. So I'm just going to shift these over so you guys can see them a bit better. Okay, oops, that's wonky. Sorry, my camera's like in a bit of an angle, so I'm just going to adjust these a little bit. Okay, so for you guys, I feel like you guys need to be gentle with yourself. In September, I feel like a lot of you are going to be healing your need to receive in. <laughs> healing your need to receive. Um, and to be gentle with yourself. And to know that it's okay. It's okay to receive. It's okay to give. It's okay to follow your dreams and go forward to what you want. I feel like a lot of you are going to be going into the moon energy. Really diving deep and moving forward to a place where you're like, actually... I want to accept myself for who I am and I want to just be happy and I want to really kind of go towards my dreams we have follow your dreams we have pronite and we also have the page of pentacles which are all basically like green themed um, because he's wearing his little green tunic thing so that's the right thing I don't know and his little outfit so I feel like with the release and declutter your heart I feel like there's just some need to just release and declutter a lot of emotional wounds um, and when you do this, you're going to be able to accept that you, you can follow your dreams and it's safe to do so. Um, and I feel like you just need to look into what makes you happy, what's going to make you happy. And to be gentle with yourself. I feel like you possibly you guys could have gone for a really intense time in August. Um, because I don't see this intense time happening now because we have received. So I feel like this is like the lesson that's kind of come after. And I feel the need to say sorry for you guys because like... I feel like you've gone for a really tough time. We've had, we've got be gentle with yourself. You've been through a lot and need time to heal and recover. Forgiveness heals. Time to release repressed anger as it's blocking your health and happiness. So a lot of you could have become ill because of this, could have had like a really hard time mentally, even spiritually, but we have release twice. Time to release repressed anger and we have release here. So I feel like you may not need to do this anymore. You may have even gone past this and you may be in this laughter. Um, mode here where you're basically just kind of living your life um for a very happy place but i feel like for a lot of you you kind of have this um i feel like a lot of you have a tendency to kind of shrink yourself to make other people seem much bigger and i feel like that's why the page of pentacles is coming up because i feel like you're heading towards your goal but then actually you're like shit no i don't want to i don't want to i'm scared um but that's completely fine guys that's completely fine because actually you are achieving your goal and you are doing really really well you just need to believe in yourself and know that you can receive. And there is there is something coming that's really amazing. A gift is coming to you soon. So don't worry, guys. I feel like there's just something that you really need to kind of work on in terms of receiving. It could be intimacy. It could be gifts. It could be um, conversation even. Just literally conversing and having a conversation. But I feel like the more you follow your dreams, follow your heart. Even if people don't agree with it, just say like, bitch, I don't care bitch please move on you know let them move on let what's that quote i don't know why i've got this the quote live and let die i don't ever say that so i feel like that's for a lot of you live and let the old sh shit die <laughs> basically um okay so receive let's have a look and see what that is because i feel like there's some extra info for you guys okay receive the key to unlocking your greater abundance is your ability to receive. The greater your sense of worthiness, the greater your capacity to accept the gifts and blessings the universe wishes to give you. This is why I do feel like this is also about the universe giving you gifts because you've got, you're have got you very close to achieving your goal of following your dreams and laughter. So you're on the up. You're on the up, guys, okay? Um, and just, so just be careful. Just not be careful. Be gentle with yourself. You're doing a really good job. There are many gifts waiting to come to you right now, but any guilt, shame or unworthiness in your system will, will act like a force field and repel your prosperity. Yes, it is good practice to think positively, be grateful, send out desires to the universe to say affirmations. However, these tools can only be effective if they are supported by the strong sense that you deserve the good you are asking for. 
The Enchantress and her unicorn hold up a crystal sphere containing all of your heart's desires. They are telling you that all of these gifts can come flowing into your reality when you heal inner wounds and release limiting beliefs that block your ability to receive. They invite you to see yourself through the eyes of the divine as a lovable, worthy being and in doing so to open your floodgates to abundance. There are gifts and blessings beyond your wildest dreams just waiting to surprise and delight you. There is nothing special you need to do in order to work to... Sorry, there is nothing special you need to do in order to be worthy of them except to believe that you are. There we go, gorgeous. So I hope that helped guys and that resonated, but you honor, you are on the up. So just be gentle with yourself and forgive yourself for this hard time, forgive other people, you know, you're doing the damn thing. You got the, you got the eight of wands, you're doing really well. So well done guys, I feel the need to clap. So well done, <laughs> well done guys. So. Thank you so much for watching. If this resonated for you, then please let me know down below. Give it a big old thumbs up, comment down below. If it didn't resonate, then just let it fly or choose another group. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, please feel free to click that red button down below. And if you would like to get a private reading with me, all the information is down below in the description. You can choose um, whichever option you would like and then email or Instagram message me with your options. So thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you very soon. Bye guys. Hello group number three. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Let's see what you guys have for September. We have this gorgeous aura quartz as well. I just want to show you it. I always show you guys, but I just want to show you again because it's stunning and I'm obsessed. It is so pretty. I love it. Okay, let's get started. So, we have the overall energy for you is support. Ask for help, get more rest, and nurture yourself. Isn't that so stunning? I love that. So beautiful. Gorgeous. Love that. So, that's your overall energy for September. We then have Page of Cups, the world, the sun, and the four of wands oh my god that is beautiful stunning i'm just gonna like adjust these sorry my my camera's at an angle i think hence why everything is wonky there we go okay then we also have have faith in your dreams step out of your comfort zone prosperity lies ahead the answers you need are coming your hard work is paying off financial flow bloodstone detoxifying root heart and sacral chakra and we also have yellow jasper control issues utilize your god-given strength and power instead of fearing that others may try to control you okay so for you guys i feel like you've got a really good thing coming for you that's going to be very like balanced and very grounded i'm feeling very relaxed in this group um, so I feel like it's really, really good for you to, for some reason they're telling me to get warm, which kind of, which I'm getting this vibe from that card because it's very warm. And what I mean by that is to give that warmness to yourself and love yourself, um, and to just look after yourself because you are currently detoxifying a lot of old stuff to do with your root, heart and sacral chakra. And those are very, very important chakras that can be to do with intimacy, love, um, groundedness, all of those lovely juicy things so because you've got all of these in the upright it pretty much means you've got some really good things coming for you you are learning to let go of your control issues and to detoxify things that no longer serve you letting go of the old bringing in the new the new is this page of cups in the world the sun and the four of wands like that is a stunning collection of cards you got there group three um so the fact we've got the page of cups in the world means that someone is possibly coming in with an offer possibly a water sign um even specifically could be a pisces um, I feel like even possibly a Sagittarius, because I'm getting with a world card with Sag. Um, possibly a Leo and possibly a fire sign, but I'm feeling more a Sag. Yeah, possibly, yeah, a fire or a water sign. And I feel like they're coming in with an offer. I feel like there could be a new person coming in or it could be somebody coming in from the past, but there's going to be a really amazing offer. If it's not from somebody else, it's going to be you just being like, I am so happy with where I am right now. I'm so stable. I feel so good. You know, so this is for September, guys. So if you're not feeling like this right now, you will be feeling this very soon, okay? So I feel like you guys are going to be focusing a lot on your money. We've got financial flow. We've also got prosperity lies ahead. Both of those are my money cards. Obviously, because it's finance, finances. Um, finance. <laughs> We've got finances. Um, so you guys are really going to be focusing on your finances. And I feel like you're going to really embrace who you are into your finances. So you're going to like kind of give yourself a little bit more to your money. So it could be starting a job that suits you better um you could be more invested in your work that you weren't really before 
Um, you could be starting something new in your job. You could be getting a raise. Um, you could be getting a one up, which pretty much means that you're getting um, possibly higher in that department, um, like a promotion, that sort of thing. Okay, like I'm seeing, I'm hearing new contracts being written out. So and to all typed out, you know, whatevs, <laughs> whatevs. Um, so yeah, I do feel like it's going to be some sort of like advancement. It's like a new beginning here and your hard work is paying off and i feel like because you've been asking for so long um they're gonna this is gonna come in for you okay and also it's gonna be something that's gonna be quite new to you so it might trigger a little bit of things from the past possibly could be triggering control issues um but let just let you know guys this is something you've been dreaming of for a long long time so i don't see it being too intense but i think it's gonna be something you're not gonna know what to do with because it's gonna be something completely new um, also, if you're really stuck on this situation and, you're, and possibly someone comes back and you're not sure if you want to get back with them, I think it's really good for you to get advice and ask for help. Also, to re, because you're detoxifying right now, it's very, very important for you to look after your body and to get more rest. Um, a lot of people are getting the flu and things, so hence, including me, <laughs> hands up. So, I do feel like a lot of you are really going to detoxify a lot of emotions at the moment. And I feel the need to kind of um, flip this deck over and it says conclusions are within reach. So definitely a lot of you guys are getting support for this. I feel like you guys are just literally supporting yourself because you don't need anyone else, you know. Um, and obviously if you are already in a relationship, this is going to be somebody coming forward with an emotional offer. Could be a friendship, could be um, somebody at work that's going to obviously give you like a promotion. As I say, something that's going to give you that emotional up kind of going to give you that emotional like happiness i'm also seeing i'm seeing like someone taking like a happy pill um this isn't like a this is a, just a metaphorical happy pill this isn't like an actual happy pill um but i'm seeing that instant gratification because it's going to be something that really really suits you so it's going to be something obviously i'm not saying instant gratification like you're buying something online and you get it the next day it's like i've been working so freaking hard on this that i deserve it and i know that i'm ready for it to come in if you guys are just you're going to be given it and you're gonna be like holy crap i needed this so much and you're gonna be so happy it's gonna be so much stability it's gonna be absolutely amazing your hard work is paying off so just keep going guys and if you feel like things are really rough just keep resting keep looking after yourself give yourself that love because there is new love coming in i feel like this could be next year for a lot of you guys at the start of next year like january february as well like a lot of you are gonna even be in a relationship by january february if you are single and looking for love so Thank you so much for watching guys and um, also they just told me that some of your friends are going to get in relationships like if there's somebody you know who's been single for a long time they're probably going to get into a relationship obviously if they worked on themselves etc etc but i feel like they will and if it's somebody you're thinking of it's probably that person okay um i'm not speaking about this random person who's had a lot of issues and still hasn't sorted themselves out and i'm kind of questioning why am i still single like no the, the person the person i always say the person it's really strange i keep getting an accent whenever i say that the person that i'm, th I'm speaking about is possibly you or a friend or possibly both like you and a friend who has worked on themselves a lot and has really kind of invested in themselves um, and has really said actually do you know what i'm going to focus on myself now because i deserve this love to come in so Thank you so much for watching guys if it resonates for you then please get a big old thumbs up comment down below let me know possibly a month's time at the end of september let me know i'd love to know or let me know now if this resonates already um if you'd like to subscribe to my channel the red button is down below and if you'd like to get a private reading with me all the information is on the screen here and down below in the description box so thank you so much for watching and i'll speak to you very soon bye